Hey there, welcome back. I'm going to show you the quick access toolbar. So if you look all the way up here, right, you're going to see these icons. These icons, they're not available when you first install uh, Excel. It's something that you set up and it's not a most recent list either. Okay, so what it does is pretend I'm going to use this function right here, cut, and I use it very often. I can actually go right click on my mouse and go add to quick access. So that function is now there forever. Okay. And the reason you want this is because let's say you have kind of a smaller computer or you want to maximize your, like your workspace as much as possible. You kind of want to minimize your menu tab and only see the icons that you use the most, right? So they're up here. So if I need a cut, I can just use this one, right? And to get rid of it, I just right click and go remove quick access toolbar. Right. And that just gets rid of what I needed, uh, what I had before. Now you can take this one step further and actually customize it from a menu. So if you right click any one of these and go customize quick access toolbar, it's going to bring me to this menu. Okay. And the other way of getting to here, if you need it, you go file options. Okay. And you go down here to the customize ribbon. Okay. Oh, sorry. No, wrong one, wrong one. Quick access toolbar. Now the quick access toolbar uh, menu, this one on the right, let me just redraw that, it was quite ugly, is actually what you see up here. Okay, so you can add and remove from the list. So let's say I've got conditional formatting, I don't need that anymore, I can remove. Right, and if I need to bring something back, I can just go conditional formatting, add. And if I want to move it, let's say I want to move it up the list, I just select that and use these buttons here. Okay. So very, very simple. And if you want to reset it all, you can click on reset. Or if you want to import from your other workstations, uh, you can do that as well. Okay. So I'm going to go OK. So I'll finalize that. And the last thing I'm going to show you is how to access it with your keyboard. Okay. What I do almost for every station is to put the format painter on the very first position. Because I that's the one I use the most. Okay. Because let's say I'm going to add a new column of stuff here. What I do on the keyboard is I just go like that. I press Alt on the keyboard and you'll notice all these numbers have turned up and letters. If you follow those prompts, it'll actually activate that. So if I go Alt 1, I've now got the format painter and I can do that, right? And so to access any of these, again, personal preference, let's say you go every time I merge, I want to press Alt 4. You're going to save, you know, a few seconds here and there, but because you're using these features the most, you're saving a lot of time. So for example, let's say the format painter, every time you have to switch over to your mouse, click it, apply it versus keyboard shortcut, you're saving like, you know, maybe five seconds, but you're doing it 50 times a day, that's 50 seconds, or you're doing a hundred times a day, but you're doing it every day throughout the years. That plus other keyboard shortcuts that you know, when you add it all up, you're saving heaps of times, uh, heaps of time. And I actually found through experience and talking to a lot of people, because I know a lot of keyboard shortcuts, I know a lot of these little tricks, I'm actually probably doing four times as much work in the same amount of time that they can, you know? And so people are always kind of shocked when I finish things a lot faster, you know, because they just, they just never bothered to learn all these little shortcuts. So I won't get into too much detail about that. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.